Welcome, Michael O'Leary, CEO of Ryanair uh, Holdings uh, Group. Uh, Ryanair Holdings includes Ryanair, Malta Air, God, I love Malta, Lauda, and Buzz Airline uh, Carriers. Thank you for joining us. Give us the, the latest snapshot. When, when you talk about how quickly things have improved in the last couple of weeks, it sounds great, Michael. But then when you do year over year, you realize it's still way down. But uh, that's the way it, it's just the, the facts of the situation. Yeah, good morning, Joe. Apologies I'm late. Our investor results call ran, out, ran, ran over time, I'm afraid. Uh, so again, apologies. You know, we think we're seeing a very strong recovery here in Europe, led mainly by UK passengers booking their summer holidays. The UK have now about vaccinated about 60 percent of their adult population. The European countries are catching up with uh, most European countries have vaccinated about 30 percent of their adult population, expect to get to about 80 percent with the first dose by the end of June. And passengers seem to be, not unlike in the States, moving beyond the kind of the, the restrictions now. We have seen our bookings, weekly bookings in the last six weeks have trebled from half a million bookings in the first week of April to 1.5 million bookings last week. That would still be about 60% of pre-COVID levels, but catching up rapidly. And all of it seems to be people booking summer holidays in Spain, Portugal, Greece, Italy, France during June, July, August, September. May will continue to be weak. But I think people are beginning to factor in the fact that most of the European population, adult population, will be vaccinated by the end of June that there'll be very few restrictions still in place by July, August, September. And I think people who've been locked up for the last 12 months are dying to go to the beaches of Europe. And we see that in Germany, big upsurge in outbound bookings this weekend, the Benelux countries, the UK, most of Europe is gonna be back on the move, I think, through June, July, August, and September. I'm not sure we'll see many of our American guests over here uh, this summer, but we're looking forward to welcoming you back in the summer of 2022. Yeah, while you were talking, that's what I was thinking. Whether what type of uh, of travel summer it's going to be in Europe, and I think you answered it. Among Europeans, uh, you're going to see quite a bit of it, but still coming from the United States, there's a perception that that maybe we've uh, got more vaccinated. Uh, you know, we've done more in terms of vaccinating the population than over there. We worry about variants as well. So you don't think that a lot of Americans are going to travel to Europe. Uh, this summer, more than last summer, obviously, but but not down. How much from a normal year do you think? Uh, it's hard to know because we don't fly long haul, so I'm not quite. Right. I don't have access to the figure, but but certainly the capacity is way down. You know, we think there will be the short haul recovery. American domestics are recovering very strongly now. European intra-European stuff is recovering very strongly. I don't think very few people will be traveling on with their families on long haul. You know, they won't be going to Asia. There'll be uh, tourism across the Atlantic this summer will be uh, significantly down, I would say 50, 60%. Yeah. But certainly within Europe, that'll be made up by short haul European bookings. People are not going to Asia. They're not going long haul on their holidays. They're going back to the beaches of Europe. Uh, and I think that will underpin a huge return in confidence, certainly in short haul air travel in Europe. In much the same way, we've seen a very strong recovery of uh, US domestic air travel in the last couple of weeks on the back of a very successful vaccine program in North America and increasingly Europe are catching up. You made some comments about Boeing and uh, I don't know, the, the arrogance of what is it current management? What 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 is the experience that you're having? They would seem to be at, uh, at, at, in a position to bend over backwards uh, to try to satisfy customers. That's not what you're seeing from Boeing? No, I got to be careful. Look, they, we, we've ordered 210 of the Game Changer, the, the 737, the MAX 8, 8 200s. Uh, they were certified by the FAA and EASA on the 6th of April. We expect to get deliveries in April. We've been very disappointed, though, by the performance of the management team in Seattle, you know, who have repeatedly given us the date, delivery dates for our first aircraft that they've missed. I, I think there's been a degree of complacency among the, the management in Seattle. I think in dealing with the regulators as well, there was this electrical issue two weeks ago. We were being told it was nothing to see here. It'll be fixed in a day or two. I think the FAA were being told the same thing. And the FAA is simply not willing to cut Boeing any slack. And we think there's a kind of, you know, I accept, you know, clear. I think the, the leadership team in Boeing, Dave Calhoun, Greg Smith, they do a phenomenal job. You know, they've uh, repaired the balance sheet. They've raised a lot of money. They haven't gone cap in hand for state aid. Boeing as a group, uh, I think, is in a very strong position to recover strongly. But Seattle needs to get its act together. Uh, we wrote to them 10 days ago. 
to say the, the, the team in Seattle say, look, we, we full your results on the 17th, Monday, 17th of May. Can you give us an update on where we are on the first deliveries? We're supposed to get them in April. Now you're telling us 26th of May. We don't know where we are. How many will you deliver this side of the summer? We haven't even got a reply in 10 days. And, and I think what I worry is, you know, it's a great aircraft. It's a great company. It's the, the leadership under Calhoun and Greg Smith has been phenomenal in the last 12 months. But they're being let down, I think, in Seattle. I, I think that uh, regulators are not happy with the way they're being treated, I think, by the, the, the management team in Seattle. And we as a customer, one of the largest customers, are not happy with, with the responses or the lack of responses we're getting. We want to take 15, 14 of these aircraft at the, by the end of May. We paid for them. We expect okay. to get them in April. We still we can't even get a reply to our letter. So I think Boeing need to up their game in Seattle. They need to deal with the regulator with much more humility and a much more open book. And they All need right. to communicate with customers because we want these planes. They're great aircraft. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.